It's all right. It's Jason live on Septic Tank TV tonight. Welcome, y'all. Wherever you are, if you're on Facebook Live right now, if you're on YouTube Live, if you're on Twitter Live, around the world, wherever you are, welcome to Septic Tank TV. So in this live broadcast, I'm going to be dealing with some septic tank tips. So if you've got any septic tank questions that you'd like me to answer during this live broadcast, then just all you have to do, uh, if you're live, I'm just getting used to all this technology, but on your screen here, I'm looking at the screen that you can see me on, but to the side of the screen, you should be able to type in questions and they'll come up on my phone and I can answer them live. So that's the whole point of tonight's live broadcast. I'm gonna answer your septic tank questions live. In fact, while I'm waiting for some questions to come through, if I get rid of that and I put, what to the, look at this. All right, Q, Q and A. Look at that, questions and answers. And I just thrown my rubber on the floor. There we go. So let's start again. So, all right. So I'm just waiting for some questions to come through. So you can ask me anything you want. You can ask me questions about your septic tank, <coughs> soakaways, worms, um, your dogs, because we do dog poop septic tanks you can ask me about soakaways installation smells anything just answer ask me anything you want and i'll try and answer your questions live oh we've got one coming through all right this is sarah from milton Keynes. all right sarah so if you just join me and you're wondering why i'm looking at my phone because the questions are coming up live now for me so sarah from milton keen Keynes is saying that her toilet isn't flushing properly right it's and it's overflowing onto the grass all right sarah listen thank you very very much for that question let me just get my uh <laughs> ball drop here okay so sarah okay so if i've got this right let me see if i got this right then sarah your toilet isn't flushing properly and it's overflowing onto the grass okay i'll try and answer that now sarah two seconds so let me just get that here so We've got um, uh, toilet not flushing, not flushing, and uh, what else did you say? You said it's overflowing, overflowing onto grass. Okay, so let me just show you, Sarah, what exactly, all right, that's typical symptoms. You know, like when you, you, you've got coughs? <laughs> And, and, and sniffles and stuff like that, and you go to the doctor, nine times out of 10, you're coming down with a cold, and it's the same in the septic tank world, Sarah, right? If there's certain symptoms that are being displayed, then nine times out of 10, it's usually because of a particular problem. So in this instance, let me show you what, what is causing this. And uh, hold on, I've got a little buzz on the phone again. Right, and you're having to get your septic tank emptied Regular. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for that extra bit of information, Sarah. So let me just show you what is going on here. So if you imagine, Sarah, right, this is your septic tank, right? And how that would normally work is that, okay, so this goes to your house, Sarah, right? That goes to your house and that goes to your soak away. All right, Sarah? So what would normally happen if your septic tank was working properly Water would come into it, it would fill up in the tank to that height, and then the excess water would go to the soak away. Right, so what normally happens, what normally causes toilets not to flush and overflowing is blockages, right, is debris in the pipe here. Because what happens is, Sarah, you get fat grease in the sludge from washing machines, from the toilets, from number two, stuff like that. Basically, they fill up in the septic tank over time, and they can block the soak away up. Now, when the soak away is blocked, the soak away is probably the most important component or part of your septic tank soak away system. So when that blocks up, the water then backs up and fills up the entire septic tank. It's now got nowhere to go. So what happens then is it spills out onto the grass, right? That's the first symptom of a blocked soak away, okay? After it's spilled out onto the grass, it then backs towards the house. And so... 
and you can't flush the loos because the water has got nowhere to go so it's backed up and this is the reason why you're having to get your septic tank emptied all the time because what happens is once once you've emptied your septic tank once you get it emptied right all the water basically taking all the water out of the tank then the pipes then clear here they clear and then you're able to flush your loo but of course um within a couple of days the septic tank will fill up with liquid and water again and the whole process will start over again and that's expensive because it can cost you i i don't know ribbon eh? where we where we live it's about 200 pound a time to get your septic tank emptied so right you've got two options and here's two options that i would recommend sarah all right number one i would try something called soak away worms there's something that we sell they're a bucket they're i think they're 149 or something like that they're, they're cheaper than an empty but you literally just tip the contents sarah into your septic tank and they eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge that's blocking your soak away up allowing the water to soak away freely again failing that if you um that's the first option i'd go to that generally works eight out of ten times you know for eight out of ten people sometimes if you soak away is given up the ghost and it's completely dead and you can't resurrect it then of course you're going to have to replace the soak away so obviously i could go a bit deeper into what kind of soak away products you could use personally i mean i don't know how deep your septic tank is or what septic tank you've got but if you just want a couple of pointers then something like septic tank um soak away crates are um are something that's very popular these days with soakaways um uh, they've typically got a lifespan of about 100 years very easy to install you can just get your building your husband can do it something like that but anyway so there you go so that's why your soak away uh, that's why your septic tank sarah is um is overflowing onto the grass and as you've said here that's why your toilet isn't flushing properly so i hope that's helped you so that is all right so thank you very much for that question sarah so what other questions have we got here all right we got dan in norfolk ah okay you obviously this is live so dan's asking me if septic tank soak away crates are legal all right well thank you very much that's a good question dan are septic tank soak away crates legal well yes it's a simple answer so if you've never if if you're listening for the first time today on this live broadcast a septic tank soak away crate is is basically looks like this and if i just put septic tank uh soak away crate what people get them mixed up with dan is they get them mixed up with rainwater crates so you can use septic tank soak away crates for your soak away but you're not allowed to use rainwater crates so that's where people get mixed up they think that you can use rainwater crates for septic tanks you can't you've got to use septic tank crates um also the difference is a uh, lots of builders will go for um rainwater crates for their soak away because they're cheaper to buy than septic tank crates and the reason why that's a mistake is is because they use different types of membrane all right the membrane wraps around uh, when you put the uh, septic tank crates in the ground you get membrane and you wrap it around the crate or the crates and um, the membrane for the septic tank soak away crates is different than the membrane for the rainwater crates and what happens is if you put rainwater crates in and you put rainwater uh, crate membrane in it balloons after a couple of months and you've got to dig all your soak away up so builders usually buy rainwater crates for septic tank soak aways because they're cheap and they're uh, you know and they're easy to put in but then they have to usually nine times out of ten go and dig them back up again and flipping you know they've wasted all their money when they could have should have just bought some septic tank soak away crates in the first place so yes so septic tank soak away crates 100 percent legal rainwater crates uh -uh, don't use them for your soak away okay so there we go let's go on to the next question all right
Thank you very much for all these questions that are coming in. This is crazy, all this live technology. We've got live webcams, we've got live phones. All right, so, all right, we've got Adam in Dorset. Adam in Dorset is saying he's confused about the 2020 regulations. What's the score in a nutshell? All right, well, Adam, thank you very much for asking that question. Okay, so on the 1st of January, 2020 basically um oh, okay so there's two two main things number one uh if if your septic tank is is um close to a water course or discharges into a ditch it be becomes illegal full stop it becomes illegal all right so you can't do that from the first of january 2020 you cannot have your septic tank close if you by close can you see that on the screen there yeah by close i mean if it's like closer than 15 meters to a ditch or a stream or a brook it's illegal full stop um you've got three options you can either uh relocate your septic tank and soak away you can either replace your septic tank and soak away those options are going to cost you anywhere from i don't know eight ten twelve thousand quid or you can just go for a septic tank converter um typically they'll cost you about three four grand and you can put one in literally in a couple of hours they you just dig a little hole put it in and then you, you leave your existing septic tank in in fact if i just draw you a, a little picture how much room we got on there so imagine this is your existing septic tank right and the pipe from there goes into uh okay so let's say this is a ditch there that's this is a side view obviously right so if you imagine here's your grass look so there's your grass and the existing your existing septic tank goes into a ditch into a water course as i said that becomes illegal so instead of having to spend flipping eight ten twelve thousand quid out all you do is get yourself a septic tank converter you dig a small hole you put it in there all the sewage goes from your septic tank goes into the converter it's turned into almost um clean Drinking water, obviously you can't drink it, but I'm just going to all like rainwater, so it's completely, it goes in from here, it's raw sewage, it goes into their raw sewage, the converter, is, uh, for example, like the ecosystem septic tank converters, they're non-electric, it completely cleans the water up so you can carry on discharging into uh, a water course, and they are 100% legal, and they are 100% uh, legal, and they are government uh, UK government um, certified uh, certified there you go look at that so yeah septic tank converter so that's uh, hope that's answered your question so what did you ask me again <laughs> sorry uh, sorry Adam confused about the 2020 rules what's the score in a nutshell okay so what if your septic tank doesn't discharge into a water course or a ditch and it's not close to it well okay well from next year sometime after the first of jan 2020 the government inspectors will go around to every single person who's got a septic tank and the government uh the government are going to do so if i put here the gov government they're going to do site inspections site inspections all right and depending on the answers that you give them adam right will determine whether they say okay we want 450 quid off you we're going to send someone out they're going to do a site inspection when they come out they'll do a site inspection they'll check your septic tank they'll see they'll check for things like the capacity of it capacity of it they'll check for the um the condition of it they'll want to know the location of it They'll want to know um, condition, capacity. Oh yeah, what <coughs> it's made from, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. And so, depending on your answer, see, many people don't really know much about their septic tank. You know, 
whether it's up in an onion one, whether it's a concrete one, if it is, what condition is it in, you know. And so depending on, and so when they're asked these questions, they normally, oh my gosh, okay. And they'll kind of rummage around the, um, the drawers, dig out all the septic tank emptying receipts, which won't really answer any of those questions. It'll just show you when you got your tank emptied and how much was taken out. So if you're deemed not to be a responsible septic tank owner, then they'll come back and they'll say, well, look, you know, we think your tank is tired, it's worn, 20, 30, 40 years old, or it could be 10 years old, and they'll say, we'd like you to replace it, please. If you do that, we'll give you a pass, and then that's how uh, it works. So it's called retrospective planning approval. Now, there's one way in which you can avoid all that, having to spend that eight, 10 grand replacing your system, and there's an easy way, right? There's an easy, really easy way to get a big fat pass right and it's free it's free okay and it's called septic tank government compliance form government compliance forms for septic tanks it's free you can get it from septictank.co.uk and uh, it's a questionnaire i've left it blank there uh, it's got 10 questions on there that the inspectors will ask you things like Where's your uh, sewage system located? Well, is it located in your front garden, your back garden, your side garden, your neighbor's garden, a field somewhere, wherever it is, put it down there. How old is your system? Five years old, 10 years old, 15 years old? Put the answer down on there, write it, fill in the blanks. The septic tank has a capacity of what? What is the capacity of your septic tank? If you don't know, uh, fill it up with water, get the septic tank emptying firm to suck it all out and they'll tell you how many liters your tank is, etc. So you get the point, don't you? So fill in all of those, right? Sign it, date it, lodge one with your solicitor, put one in your uh, on display in your kitchen or your utility room. When the government inspectors come round, right, they'll ask you those questions. You'll say, oh, that guy from Septic Tank TV, he told me I could get one of these forms free from his site, which you did. I, I filled it in, so he goes, you go and get it from your kitchen, you hand it to him, Government inspector will go, wow, okay, that's what system he's got. That's what it's made from. That's the age of it. dum de dum de dum de dum Wow, he'll think responsible septic tank owner. He'll give you a big fat tick. You won't have to spend 450 quid on, um, you know, for him getting a site inspection because you've given him all the information there. So he'll put you to the bottom of the list and go and check your neighbor and see what the condition of his tank and ask him the same questions. And I bet... But bet your bottom dollar your neighbor won't have one of those government compliance forms so there you go i hope that's helped you um i'm running out of time now what's the time now it's ripping uh oh man it's 18 i've got time for one more question so let's have a look who else have we got here who else have we got all right so thank you for that adam thank you for that dan i've answered your question hello yeah hi 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 emily nice to see you hi emily sorry if i'm looking the wrong way all right so here we go we've got a question now from tina in wales why do septic tanks smell that's a very good question tina right let me try see if i can answer this question for you tina let's have a look here right all right so why do septic tanks smell well it's a very simple answer i'm going to give you probably won't like the answer tina but let me tell you so i'm just going to write your question down here tina so if people are watching why do septic tanks smell all right so i'm going to show you why they smell all right and uh, i'm going to show you how to get rid of the smell all right you might not like the answer but this is as simple as it is right there's no this is a healthy septic tank believe it or not never ever ever smells okay so if you're just because there's poo in there and there's wee in there doesn't mean a tank smells all right i mean you know it's as simple as that okay you know we've got all kind of horrible stuff inside us but if we had a bath we smell nice and rosy right and so it's the same with the septic tank if it's healthy and it's working right it'll never smell this is the reason why septic tanks smell it's because of cleaning products that's the only reason why septic tank smells that's the main cause of septic tank smells now you're probably thinking well hold on you know you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I've got a house, you know, if I don't use, you know, bleach or, you know, toilet cleaners or washing powder, you know, you know, the, you know, I want to protect my family from germs and stuff. I get it. I get it. I didn't say you'd like the answer, but I'm just giving you the reason why septic tank smells. You see, up until 
um, the late 70s, early 80s, right, in most septic tanks up and down the country, they used to be full of bacteria and worms, right? And that, that kind of ecosystem would break all the horrible, stinky stuff down. And just like in nature, in nature, right, you say you've got a forest, right, okay, and you've got a deer or a bird and it falls to the floor and it dies, something like that, then the maggots and the worms come along and clean it all up and uh, basically convert all that horrible, stinky waste into nice, fresh, organic matter and it's the same with the septic tanks up before dishwashers and washing machines and all flipping domestos and um uh, and different bleaches or whatever became popular right the bacteria in the septic tank used to treat and clean everything from the early, from the late early late 90s um cleaning products sulfuric acid stuff like that in the bleaches we use dishwasher tablets have got chemicals if you look on the back of the packets there they've got skull and crossbones if you and i were to drink the stuff that you wipe down your kitchen surfaces was or or that you put down the toilet to clean it it would kill me never mind the flipping you know bugs and stuff in the septic tank and so what happens is you put these cleaning products right down your septic tank so here's a septic tank so there's a healthy septic tank right and it's full up with water look and uh, you've got all these lovely bacteria in there trying to help and break down all the waste in your septic tank but then you put a load of bleach down there you put toilet cleaner down there you put washing powder down there you put soap and it just kills it all and it just kills it there and then what happens you get all these stinks come up from the septic tank right especially in the summer i get women ringing me up crying because of the smells coming up through the sink through the drains okay so that's why septic tanks smell so let me tell you an easy way and did you know uh, this is just completely digressing did you know in all the small prints of, of of all the manufacturers that sell septic tanks and sewage treatment plants it says in small print there if you use cleaning products or chemicals the the uh, the warranty for the septic tank or the sewage treatment plant is null and void, but they don't make a big song and dance of that because no one would buy them, would they? So okay, so so if your septic tank smells, what can you do to get rid of those smells? Well, there's something really simple on the um, supermarket shelves that you can buy. Now I've got no flipping um, investment or anything in that. It's called Ecova. All right, so I'm not affiliated with it in any way, shape, or form. But if you go to Tesco's, if you go to Sainsbury's, if you go to Asda, if you go to Waitrose, wherever you go to do your shopping, Ecova do a whole range of, of cleaning products, right, that are plant-based. They're plant-based. So they're very kind. They're very kind, and they're very gentle, right? They're very kind. And they're very gentle on septic tanks. So yes, they Ecova products. They do they do bleaches, right? And the bleaches will kill 99.9% .9 of germs in the kitchen, on the floor. They do toilet cleaners, right? Which will kill 99.9% .9 of bugs. They do dishwasher tablets. They do washing up liquid. They do they do for being washing machine powder. You, you've seen it before. I'm probably preaching to the converted. But the point is, if you use Ecova and they're plant based. Uh, plant-based cleaning products it will not harm or kill the good bacteria in your septic tank and so if your septic tank smells get rid of all your cleaning products that you're using right now the ones with um, sulfuric acid and stuff in and change your brand to a cover so there you go so i hope that wasn't too long-winded for you i've forgotten your name and all of that to be honest uh tina in wales thanks a lot for that tina that's really good but look thank you very very much for all your questions I'm going to do another live Q&A tomorrow. And, um, yep, if you want more free information and free advice, then just go to Septic Tank TV, see more of me <laughs> and more live videos and stuff like that, in which I'll answer all your questions for you. But, listen, have a, have a great um, what's left of the weekend. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.